It was a snowy January on the island of Sodar. A new year had dawned. Terence the tractor was busy sleeping in a field. Come on, Terence, said Terence's driver. It's time to go home. And so, Terence's driver pulled the throttle. But then there was trouble. Terence was stuck in, in frozen mud. His treads gripped the frozen ice. What's going on, said Terence. I can't go anywhere. Terence kept spinning, but it was no good. He was stuck. Further down the line, he saw Mike, the RSL engine just about to leave with a ballast train. Mike, said Terence. Can you help me? I'm stuck. If you can't help me, please notify an engine. My treads are stuck in some frozen mud, and I need your help. Mike saw the situation. Uh, I'm very sorry, Terence, said Mike. But I have to get going. I have a ballast train to pull. See the next engine and see what he can do to help you, said Mike. And Mike blew his whistle and puffed away with his journey to taking the ballast train. At that moment, Thomas arrived. Terence, said Thomas, what's happened to you? Can you get out of there? I'm afraid I can't, Thomas, said Terence. I'm stuck. The frozen mud has gripped my treads, and I can't go anywhere until I need help. But unfortunately, you're too far away, and there's no one else available, since everyone's busy. Can you go and find someone to help me, please, Thomas? That'd be much appreciated, said Terence. But at that moment, both Thomas and Terence heard a, a strange noise. A scrap crane came next to Terence. Who are you, said Terence. Ah, oh, Ridge is the name, said the scrap crane. I've come to help you. It looks like you need some assistance. I'm just the perfect assignment for you. With that, Reg lowered Terence onto the empty flatbed that Thomas was carrying. Thank you, Reg, said Terence. I owe you one big time. It means a lot. But shouldn't you be at the scrapyard if you're a scrap crane? I thought you, you were just, you know, oh, just being there all the time. No, I can travel whenever I want, said Reg. I rarely go out, but hey, it was nice to see you, Terence. I must get back now. And Reg puffed away. Hell, that was interesting, said Thomas. At least I'm glad I came to save the day. Oh, yes, of course, said Terence. But thank you. And we should owe Reg a big one, big time, said Terence. And Thomas puffed away with Terence home.